Hello everyone, so now we are going to continue this lab. I hope you remember in our previous class we create this topology. We check from this PC we are able to access the server. We check the ping and also we check the HTTP, HTTPS services is available. From this PC we are able to access this server. Okay, so now your manager told you to block this PC. Okay, this PC should not access this server tcp services example your manager told you your manager told you to block for 192 1.2 1 block this machine to access the tcp services so what we will do we will block that one okay so let me show you how we can do but before doing that one we will first verify i will go to this machine and we will check what i will do first i will do the ping i will send the ping to that server i will write ping 192.168.4.2 4.2 is a server ip okay this is the server ip i am pinging i am checking i can go there yes ping is working perfectly and then what we will do we will go to the browser and we will check the port 80 and port 443 so i will write here 192.168. 4.2 if you see if you see the port 80 is working here if you see http is nothing but port 80 if you write https that is port 443 so both ports are working here both port for this server it is working here if you want to verify with another way we can do this way also you can write here telnet and write the ip of the server IP of the server, what is IP? IP is 4.2. So you will write 4.2 and write here port 80. Port 80 is open means it is working on port 80. This way also we can do. In the real scenario, we will use this method only. Telnet we will use to check the connectivity. Okay, so it is working perfectly. Now what I will do, I will verify port 443 is working or not. So I will go here, I will write port 443. So it is open, so it is also working. That means, in short, what I can say, this machine that is 192.168.1.2 is able to ping, is able to access the port 80, is able to access the port 443 of 192.168.4.2 server. Now your manager asks you to block all TCP application. This PC only access the ping. This PC can do the ping, but he should not use the TCP services. So whatever TCP services is there, you can block that one. So we can do here or we can do here. Uh, your wish, because if you see traffic will flow this way, right? How traffic will flow? Traffic will flow this way, like this. This way or this way, like this. So what I can do now, I can apply the ACL. We will use the ACL axis control list. To do that one i can apply acl here to this port so block here or i can configure the acl and i can block this port so traffic for tcp will not go from here to not go here not go here not go here i can block the tcp services as per your manager all the tcp service should block for this machine so better block here only if it is block here for this machine tcp service is blocked why we will block here Maybe after some time, they will install another server here. You have some TCP services here again. After some case, so maybe later, they will install any TCP services, TCP application here. So, or here, again, you will have the issue. So better block here. Instead of blocking here, block here. So the TCP request for this machine will not go outside this router. Okay, so let's do here. So what I will do, I will take this CLI of the router and then I will do the configuration here. You need to remember, we will use the ACL. Okay, you need to use the ACL. So I will go in the global configuration mode and then I will write IP axis list. I will use the extended, give the name. I will give ABC. You can give any name. After that, what you need to do, you need to block, right? So I will write deny. What you need to deny? TCP, okay? and press question mark what you need to deny for single host i need to deny only this one pc so i will write host 
ओके आई विल राइट होस्ट एंड गिव दैट आई पी वॉट इज आई पी ऑफ दैट सिंगल मशीन वन नाइन्टी टू डॉट वन सिक्सटी एट डॉट वन डॉट टू एंड देन आई नीड टू ब्लॉक गोइंग टू वर्ड्स वेयर गोइंग टू वर्ड्स दिस मशीन दैट इज वन नाइन्टी टू वन सिक्सटी एट फोर डॉट टू सो वन नाइन्टी टू डॉट वन सिक्सटी एट फोर डॉट टू देन प्रेस क्वेश्चन मार्क यू नीड टू गिव समथिंग हेयर और जस्ट यू नीड टू डिनाई सो आई नीड टू डिनाई ओनली बिकॉज इफ यू सी यू हैव कैरेज रिटर्न ऑल्सो सो जस्ट प्रेस इंटर सो विद दिस कमेंड ऑल द ट्राफिक फॉर दैट वन विल बी ब्लॉक एंड आफ्टर दैट यू नीड टू राइट पर मिनिट आई पी एनी एनी सो वेन यू राइट दिस वन ए सी एल विल वर्क फ्रॉम टॉप टू बॉटम आई होप यू रिमेंबर दैट वन सो फर्स्ट दे विल कम फ्रॉम द टॉप टू बॉटम सो दे विल चेक दिस वन इफ दिस इज मैच देन दे विल लिव इफ दिस वन इज नॉट मैच दे विल चेक दिस वन दे विल अलाउ सो वी क्रिएटेड द ए सी एल नाउ वी नीड टू अप्लाई इन द ए सी एल वी नीड टू डू टू थिंग फर्स्ट वी नीड टू क्रिएट द ए सी एल देन वी नीड टू अप्लाई द ए सी एल सो वेर वी विल अप्लाई एज वी टोल्ड वी विल अप्लाई टू दिस इंटरफेस इंटरफेस फास्ट इथनेट वन बाई जीरो ओके सो आई नीड टू गो टू दैट इंटरफेस सो आई विल एक्जिट आई विल गो इंटरफेस फास्ट इथनेट वन स्लैस जीरो हियर आई विल राइट आई पी एक्सिस ग्रुप एंड गिव द नेम इफ यू आर कन्फ्यूज प्रेस क्वेश्चन मार्क ही इज सेंग गिव द ए सी एल नेम इफ यू डिड नॉट रिमेंबर सी हियर दिस इज द नेम वी गिव सो आई नीड टू राइट दैट सेम नेम आफ्टर दैट यू नीड टू राइट इन और आउट traffic is going into this router you need to check the traffic flow it is going like this traffic is going from this machine to the router so what we are saying traffic is going into the router so you need to write here in okay so what i will do i will write here in that's all if you want to check you can check this way show if you want to verify you can write show access list press enter you configure this by default they taken the sequence number 10 and 20 so first we are saying deny for tcp protocol from this host to this host and allow the other that's all now we can check i will go to this machine i will go to web browser before we are able to access the website now i will put the ip this is ip 192.168. 4.2 and press enter this is a port 80 port 80 is also for tcp we are using tcp http or 443 also tcp so it will not work see request time out this is a port 80 it is not working now i can give here s and press enter again and you can check this will also have the request time out why because both are working on the tcp it will not work if you want again let me do again what i will do i will go here in the web browser i will type here https colon here i can write 192.168.4.2 i will press enter and wait for some time then you will see here it will not work okay this will not work but if you ping it will work okay request time out so it is not working but now if you go here and you can ping it will work so what i will do here let me press enter here before we done here so it is there let me go here now i will ping okay see ping is working ping is working but what is not working port 80 is not working and port 443 is not working because they are working in the tcp tcp services is blocked if you want to verify this way also you can do this is a port 443 it will not work port uh, we need to tell net the server ip and write 443 if it is open means it is working but port, port 443 is nothing but https it is not working because acl is blocking that one and if you want to check port 80 it will also not work because acl is blocking that one okay so our lab done successfully our lab done successfully your manager told block for this machine all the tcp services your manager told for this machine block all tcp services only allow the ping services so you can ping this server but you cannot do the tcp okay 
and if you want to check also you can check here you can go here to this router and you can write here show access list and if you see here match 108 match means 108 time they request and the packets drop here and 4 match means 4 packets allow here 108 packets drop here 4 packets allow here ok so this is a basic lab here we done some tasks as per our manager request in our next class we are do, going to do some other thing maybe your manager will ask you to allow the TCP port 443 ok so how we are going to manipulate this is already we created now as per your manager request you need to allow port 443 so how we can do let's see in our next class ok thank you bye